Hey squad, welcome back to your channel. Today, we see episode seven of Avatar The Last Airbender. In Avatar The Last Airbender, episode seven, Lieutenant G warns Zuko about treason arrest by the Fire Nation. Zuko escapes on a lifeboat, but Zhao leaks the information, rigged with blasting jelly, and the boat explodes, indicating Zuko's death. These days, Aang is more resigned to the fact that he lacks experience. He expresses gratitude to his friends, whom Katara refers to as Team Avatar. When they get to the Northern Water tribe, they already know that the Fire Nation poses a serious threat. Iro believes Ozai is responsible for Zuko's death and Zhao promises to launch an attack on the Northern Water Tribe. Speaking with Master Paku, Katara expresses empathy for her difficulties. Yue walks up to Sokka. Following their conversation, he recalls that a three-tailed fox wearing her headdress conversed with him in the spirit realm. The leaders of the Water Tribe are dissatisfied with Aang's lack of preparation and training. Katara discovers that women from the North are not permitted to learn combat, but she does learn how to heal wounds with waterbending. At his shrine, Aang converses with Avatar Kuruk. Kuruk cautions Aang that if he doesn't follow his path by himself, his loved ones will suffer. Yue admits to Sokka that the fox he saw is actually her. The moon spirit gave its essence to Yue so that it could survive as a baby. Thus, Yue's dreams can take her to the spirit world. She gives Sokka a kiss. Katara is not allowed to train or fight with Master Paku. Katara is told by Aang that she shouldn't fight and that it's best for everyone if he stays by himself. Although Zhao's attack strategy against the Water Tribe is bold, he disregards Iroh's advice. Under the armor of Fire Nation, Zuko is still alive. He's determined to show his abilities and innocence, but he has no intention of taking the Avatar. Iroh believes Zhao is someone's pawn. Azula has had enough of Ozai's treatment of her. She demands an opportunity to shine and has the mastery ability to bend lighting. Ozai gladly obliges. Katara and Sokka find support in one another. Katara issues Paku a challenge to combat. Even though Katara is holding her own in this epic duel, Paku still won't allow her to engage in combat. Aang is informed by Katara and Sokka that it is entirely up to him how he wants to live as the Avatar. Furthermore, they are family, so it is natural for them to worry about one another's safety, but nobody can stop Katara from fighting. They are fighting side by side each other. Episode 7 is finished, and if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe, drop a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and stay awesome.